Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to share with you how can we plot a figure or a map from uh, Google Earth uh, using MATLAB, uh, using a plot in MATLAB. So in the MATLAB, uh, what we want we we wanted to uh, show the uh, latitude and uh, longitude of the uh, maps from uh, the Google Earth. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is that to make sure that the image that we wanted to uh, plot in MATLAB is being nicely annotated um, with the, uh, if you're happy with the, the font size and everything uh, on the display there, um, then we can save this image or in case that you wanted to change, uh, do some annotation to enlarge the text, this, the text size, so you can, uh, you need to do it uh, in this uh, Google Earth. Okay, actually you can uh, change the, the size, uh, the, the text and uh, the text and do some annotation to change the color, uh, the width uh, and in this uh, Google Earth, right? So once you're happy with this, uh, they said I wanted to to map this on uh, MATLAB like this one. Okay. Uh, so what I need to do is that I need to click on the save image. Okay, and then uh, I save it. Uh, click save and then I put it on a folder and save it as uh, .jpg format. Okay, once I did that, um, I need to read the coordinate of the four corners of these uh, images. So this is the real coordinates. Uh, this is the real, real coordinate of the corner where you, if you bring in your uh, cursor uh, at uh, around that area, you will see at the bottom there is a latitude and uh, longitude. Okay, so this is the latitude longitude of that uh, position. Uh, so we need to pick that uh, four corners uh, latitude longitude. So you just bring your cursor to the upper left and then re record the coordinate on the lower left. Uh, right, uh, right on the lower right, and also after that on the upper right. Okay, once you uh, record that, uh, then now we go to the uh, MATLAB. So I'm open up, I make sure we put on the right directory. So this is my um, image. So let's see how it looks. So this is the image that I wanted to register. Uh, by register and showing the latitude on and the uh, longitude. Okay, so um, let's start with the new one. So the first thing that I need to do is that uh, we need to read uh, these uh, files. So it's the study area.jpg. And it is on the format of uh, JPG. And then after that, I need to um, read the size of that image. So it's read the size A. And then now I need to configure the 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 boundary of the uh, map. Okay, so we need to uh, specif spe specify the coordinate. This is the Earth ground coordinate uh, by bringing the latitude and also the longitude. So let's start with uh, input points one. So I'm going to bring it uh, the the coordinate. So this is should this uh, should be the coordinate of the upper left. 
Okay, so the coordinate of the upper left. So this is the coordinate of the upper left. So if you put the, you already uh, record that. So you have, uh, so this is the coordinate that you're going to uh, put in. Right, uh, so I say that is the start with the latitude is 15.63 and my lat longitude is 93.67. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that. Uh, so and then after that, the second one, this is, should be uh, the lower left. Okay, the coordinate of the lower left. So it's uh, here. So the coordinate of the lower left is negative 2.99. Okay, and then after that, uh, this is where uh, the coordinate of the upper right so coordinate of the upper right is um, okay and then finally is the uh, lower right okay uh, so this is negative 2.99 Okay, once I specify the boundary of the four uh, corners, then now what I need to do is uh, I'm going to write uh, some flips. So uh, it's uh, flip R. Okay, and then after that, I need to specify uh, the coordinate or the, the, the boundary of these photos, meaning that the size uh, from, the, from the lower left uh, to the upper left, and then the size of this uh, lower left to the uh, lower right. So what I'm going to do is that we'll say is as a base point. So base point one is the, actually the size of one to A. So A is that this is the size of the images. Uh, okay. And then that is, so I'm gonna copy that one, two, three. And four. So this is one one, and then this is uh, B A, and this is uh, B one. One A one one B A and B one. Okay. Once I specify that, then now I need to do a. Uh, transformation because we here up here we specify the coordinate of the four corners uh, but then we need to fill in between uh, the coordinate of the of in between uh, by using the uh, affine transform so I say to uh, T form so this is going to the inputs and then the base files in using the affine transform. Okay, so I say my new diagram x and y is the we do the transform in in transforms deform okay once we did that after that now we are going to uh, plot so we put the limit from position to one until
Okay. So inputs to Okay, I'm going to do the same for the Y. Okay, now uh, we're going to show the results. Show. Okay. Okay, now um, once we this is the the this is the codes, and then we can run that. And uh, here is the output. But uh, if you see on the left side here, so it's basically we need to do reverse the axis to make that negative uh, at the bottom. So um, go to editors and click just click on that reverse button. Okay, so uh, yeah, so it, it will reverse that for you for the northern hemisphere. So this is the. Uh, output so we you can uh, do some annotation to put the uh, legends okay all right thank you see you later on my next video